How does television work? I haven't a clue. Electric impulses or something like that? Switch it on and there it is. Electrons through the sky and it's gathered into the TV. Oh, I got through my cable. Uh, radio waves or whatever it is to uh, transmit pictures. They bounce off something to transmit the light. Well, it's certainly not like the radio, is it? There seems to be a lot of confusion about how TV pictures are sent. No one would confuse a uh, record player and its speaker with a radio. One is broadcast, the other isn't. Television is broadcast and received the same way as radio. Got it? Then forget it. It's easy. The real differences lie in how the electronic picture signal is made at the studio and how it's displayed when it gets to the home receiver. All live television pictures come from things called pickup tubes. Now, these come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes, but they all function pretty much the same. The heart of them is an electron gun. This this thing's a lot like the good old vacuum tube. It has a hot filament that emits electrons towards a charged metal plate. One of the trick is that when they get to the plate, there's a little hole in the end they didn't expect to be there, and they all come shooting out in a thin stream. Some other little metal things here attract and repel it and uh, can allow it to be focused into a tiny spot. That spot falls on a light-sensitive layer in the tube at the front called the target. Now, the picture is focused on the target by an ordinary lens. There's actually a little picture focused there, just as it would be on film. And the beam contacts it from the other side. Now, because of its chemical properties, wherever light falls on the target, electrons from the target leave. They just go away. When the beam from behind comes up, it will deposit enough electrons to replace the ones that left. Electrons are just funny that way. So if the target's bright, a lot of electrons leave and a lot of electrons get replaced. The amount of electrons that are getting replaced at any point on the target indicate how bright the target is. And you can sense that by the amount of current flowing in the tube. The kinescope tube, that's a home picture tube, works just almost the same. It has an electron gun in it, except instead of a steady stream of electrons shooting out, there's another element in it that can control how many electrons come out at any one time. And also, instead of hitting a light-sensitive layer, they hit a, a chemical that glows brighter when more electrons hit it. And you guessed it, the signal from the target of the pickup tube is fed to the control signal here to brighten and darken the spot. Easy, huh? Well, I pulled a fast one on you. So far, the system's useless. All we have is a bright spot on the home receiver that gets brighter and darker depending on how bright and dark the TV studio is. To send a picture, you have to move that spot around somehow. You could move it around in a circle, diagonally anyway, but the way used in all systems is just simply logical. It starts up at the upper left of the picture, moves across to the right, blanks out, goes dark, jumps back to the left rapidly, and begins another trace, and continues on. In our system, we use 525 of those scanning lines. Some systems use 625, some use 819, some use 405. But notice that they all use an, an odd number of lines. That's because in television systems, the scanning is interlaced. Every other, every other scan is offset by a half line. It's easier than it sounds. The first time it's scanned, it starts at the upper left, continues down, and in the 525 line system, on line 262 and a half, that's halfway, stops, and in the middle of the picture jumps back up to the top, continues doing a half line up here, continues on. That gives an interlaced picture with 525 lines interwoven like that, except that the picture is scanned twice as often as it would be without the interlaced trick, giving half the flicker. Needless to say, at the bottom of the picture, the beam is also blanked out and allowed to return to the top. That blanked area there is that big black bar you see when the vertical hold isn't set right. For this whole thing to work, the scanning in the camera tubes has to be at exactly the same place uh, as the scanning on the home receiver. As a matter of fact, all the studio equipment has to be scanning the same spot at the same time, and all of the receivers tuned to that station have to be scanning the same place at the same time. Around the studio, that all comes from a little boring-looking box called a sync generator that runs all of the scanning in the cameras at the studio. And also, during those blanked-out periods at the right side of the screen and at the bottom, transmits a thing called a sync pulse, allows your receiver to synchronize its scanning with what the studio is transmitting. And if you think that's amazing, you ought to see how color TV works.